But it's 5.45 in the morning. I'm on my way to Muiwo to have a go at one of these new virtual races, the Translantal 50. <laughs> Up until the point COVID-19 hit, Hong Kong was seeing annual growth in its trail running events. This all came to a stop one year ago. Race organizer Clément Dumont explains. So Asia Sport Connection, we used to organize seven, seven events a year. Now we have no events, which means uh, nothing, no revenue at all. And then we had to adapt to try to continue to promote the events and also offer new alternatives to the runners so they can still go out and have some motivation to, to get on the trails. Okay. I'm in Muiwo with running partner Frédéric de jean Leo to run one of Hong Kong's most popular races, the Translantal 50 kilometers. But this year we're alone. No marshals along the route, no ribbons to follow, and no checkpoints with refreshments. It's all been operated by an app on our phones. Countdown. The new app we offer, we provide the direction, the guidance. Turn left to stay on the coast. So you need, it will tell you, go left, go right, climb for two kilometers with 300 meters climb. And then we also have messages, you are two minutes ahead of Jack, three minutes behind Sophie, etc. We're getting turn by turn directions from the app telling us which way to turn as we go which is actually brilliant actually we, we do know the path quite well but it's a good reassurance that if you go the wrong way it will put you back I'm kind of wondering if this is going to be used more widely once the pandemic has gone we developed the app with keeping in mind that we need to have something that we can use in the future when the physical race resume and not just for the virtual event. So we have this idea that you can use it on physical race, participants can have the guidance which significantly reduce the marking. Uh, that is an issue quite often with sabotage or other uh, problems. And also we want to build a closer communication between the public, the followers and the runners. And if, for example, what we have in mind is to be able to send audio message to the participant when you get to the top of Lantau Peaks, you receive a message from a friend, good job, you, you are on the Lantau Peak, go ahead. For us, the app works seamlessly throughout the race, keeping us on track through the mountains and mist. We set an ambitious time for the completion, but did not set names of people we wanted to race against, which may explain this strange message 10 kilometers from the finish. Underscore ahead, underscore, underscore, compare. V underscore, bit two underscore, first name, underscore. No idea what he's talking about. <laughs> the feedback out there, they're really amazed to be in the middle of nowhere, and then out of a sudden will tell you, take the trail on the right, which is very unusual, and they, are, they have a surprise. It's impressive how accurate it is to receive the message. They want the physical race to resume the participants, so we are really working to make it happen anytime soon, and hopefully I will be able to combine this new technology with the physical race. As we moved into the final stretch, the app encouraged us till the end, turn left to the finish, and congratulated us on the finish. Congrats. You have completed Translan Tower 50. So I've done it. Thanks to Fred. I'm just looking here at my time. 9.51.48. So I've just got my results, they've just come in here, very happy, I'm first in my rank for the moment. <laughs>